Louisiana Beer Reviews, Paul Lanner, Oktoberfest Weizen. Weizen. Yeah. 6%. 6% alcohol. 6%. And this has got all sort of blue meanings on the front of it again. But these some old boys. Big old abdomens going on. Yeah, huh? they've been Oktoberfest Every one of them is kicking a beer back. Like, ah. Uh, so. <laughs> Yeah, there they are, having a good old time. And there's a Ferris wheel and a carousel and the brewery in the background since 1634. And this is best before, uh, there's a date, guys. April of 2020, 330 milliliter bottle, made with water, barley malt, hops, and yeast, no corn, no rice. Paul Honor beer is not a mere product, they say. It's a matter of the heart. <laughs> All right, so they sent this to me. This was sent to me by Paul Honor. And they said, well, uh, how would you like it if we sent you some beers and you did some reviews? I said, I would like it. <laughs> so so let's touch a little base then, uh, just a little bit of history of, of, on how this beer kind of re reflects into uh, what goes on in New Orleans this time of the year, too. Almost for like for the past five to six weeks, we have been in our own October 1st. Right, and that's what we're on, Which is... Primarily put on by the Archdiocese in Jefferson Parish. Oh, and in New Orleans, it's yeah. by Deutsches House, the German right. club. So each one of these, they, they put on a little festival, and you go in there, and they have beers and food and rods and music and all that. So it is, in its own style, it is kind of like an Oktoberfest. I just wish they would move more into, say, incorporating what the Germans did in, in their Oktoberfest and just kind of moving it in more into it. I think they would get a little bit better. I thought it was the same, the way they did it. It's not the same. It's it's a variation. Oh. I mean, in time and things that, that, goes, that goes on. Yeah, we do it later in the year. The German Oktoberfest is really in September. Well, there is, a, there is an Oktoberfest here, but a Deutsches Haus, which means German house. Right. Now, the German... They moved Oktoberfest in Germany to September because it's too cold in October. You know, it's still cold over there in Germany. I see photos of Germany and it's May, you know, like May 20th and they're bundled up. And I'm like, in Louisiana, we're trying to get out of the sun in May. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's n Northern Europe. We're in Southern North America. Okay, uh, so you're ready to drink this? You've never had this before though, right? Wiesen. No, have not. Some German people were telling me Wiesen means like meadow. It means like meadow beer. Huh. Like you drink it out in the meadow. And this is the one that Paul Honor serves at Oktoberfest. Oh, wow. This is not that one, the Martin, but this. A, a lighter colored, but stronger alcohol. So, like we would call it a malt liquor in America, like King Cobra malt liquor. <laughs> but King Cobra is made with rice and corn. And this is certainly not. So don't this let the kinda, smooth taste fool you, Paul is, Liner. It is kind of reminiscent of of our beers here. Color-wise. Drop the mic. All right. Golden yellow. Yeah, this is so gold. Ooh, man, that sun just all of a sudden hit me. Yeah, good. Yeah. And there's some fine powdery sediment I see. Some little foam. Clear, not much lacing going to be evident. I don't know what you're talking about. This looks like a big old lemon drop to me. Yeah, but I mean, I can see the little powdery sediment. All I see is clear beer. Okay. I'm ready to give this a try. So, Smells good. This is the one we had in the last video, by the way. Smells good. Very bready bread yeast. It smells like baking. somebody's baking bread at the bakery on uh, off of Downman Road. <laughs> But I got those bakeries. Nah, it doesn't exactly smell like that. It smells of barley. To me. Never been by a KDN bakery in Lafayette where you could smell it. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's the beer and then you get the alcohol behind it. So it's like, there's like a little fire with that. It goes <clears throat> into your nostrils. So it's, it's kind of hard to... They're saying what, you know, whether yeah. this is... Okay. Total bread or not total bread. So, oh, maybe like a soda. I thought crack. the Marzan was 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 more. The Marzan, now I, I remember one Marzan. year. Uh, was it two years ago? Sierra Nevada did a collaboration with someone, and theirs came out. 
like this. Yeah, and it was really great. So I can't wait to taste this one. Might have been Paul on it. Oh, cheers, cheers. And uh, maybe there's a little soda cracker in the, in the um, aroma without the salt. Oh, yeah, this is really good. Clean. Uh, I said this in all the videos. It's like, so clean, man. Clean. The body's a little heavier than a Morzan. Yeah, um, a little heavier. Yeah, than it kind of Morzan. It kind of sticks around a little bit, hangs out. A little prickly carbonation, yeah. very low level hop bitterness. If you're looking for a bitter beer, look elsewhere. It ain't going to be here. Um, this is probably the closest German style to what we would drink in America, the 6% malt liquors. But those are cut with corn and rice, so they're not the same. This one doesn't have that. But you know what I'm saying, like the same body and that kind of feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of get this cold 45. Exactly. Or even more so, the Steel Reserve 211 6% version, the 6%. Not the 8.1, that's a whole different animal. Animal, that's a Hellas Doppelbach adjunct. And that one's a little... 45 of 5.4? 6. It's a 6. 5.6. Okay. Yep, it's pretty light. For, you know... It's, it's pretty got that light. really good flavor to it. Mm. Yes, and I wish we could somehow... Get Colt 45 double malt around here, but we can't. I love I'm not, Colt 45. And I'm not driving to St. Louis 10 hours to get Colt 45. Colt 45 double malt. Right. But if I see some, I'm bringing back a lot. Um, won't be one can or bottle. It's clean. It's got a little higher body. You know, it's like medium body. It's crisp, clean, refreshing. That's it. Simple. It's a simple product, and they drink huge steins of it at Oktoberfest. It's like it's pretty fattening, though. You would get, you'd be like those men on that bottle if you were just guzzling this down. Oh yeah. This is not a light beer by any, by any mm -mm. estimation. Except for lingering. Lingers a little bit. Yeah, it, it hangs out for a while. It's been a minute since I took a sip. I can still taste it. Imagine when you start going, bruh, bruh. You're gonna, you're gonna. You'd only do that if you don't hard pour a beer. And we have had so many discussions with people online where they tell me, learn how to pour a beer. You, you tilt the glass and you pour it to where there's no foam. I'm like, no, no you wrong. You pour, <clears throat> you pour it hard so you get a thick head of foam yeah, and it releases it the carbonate. It releases carbonations, and then you go about your business and you're not walking around belching and farting all day. Oh, we want to use delicate language on this channel. Oh, here comes the Kansas City Southern Belgium Railroad. flatulating, man. Here comes the Kansas City Southern Railroad. Three acorn borders. Squirrels. <laughs> okay. So, um, what do you score? I know I'm going to score it straight up 95. Yeah. It's good, clean. Well, yeah. You prefer the Mars and I get the feeling. <laughs> Still scores one higher. You gotta give us a 97 as well. Wow, so. Well, good stuff. Here's a person that likes German beer from what I'm picking up. Thank you, Paul Anner, for sending us this. It's delicious beers. Can't wait to taste many more. Yes, and uh, so. And I love that double bock. But a double bock that uh. Double bock. Salvatore. Oh yeah. Well, that's what it means. Double bock. Double goat beer. So, laser Greatest labor. of all time. Huh? Greatest of all time. Yeah, until you drank the, well, yeah, until you drank the Celebrator. Had that too. Oh, wait, sorry. Different company. Yeah, right. Uh, uh, no, disregard that last comment. All right, so Laser Le, <laughs> laser le Bon Ton Roulet, an awesome product. And we're going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana. And drink real beer.